What's going on guys? My name is Ethan and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a donut in Onshape. So I'm going to share my screen. And first thing I'm going to do is go into Onshape. If you don't already have Onshape, it's pretty easy to make an account. It's free. Um, so once you get into here, you will go to create document. I already have two donuts as you could see. So I'm gonna call it donut two for now. We're probably gonna have you name it something like 3D PC donut, your last name and the color of your donut. So yeah. So when you open a document, this is what it comes to. You have your three planes. And um, yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start a sketch on the top plane. And then move my face a little bit. And you could use this cube up here to navigate your planes or your object. So I'm going to, since it's a donut, donuts are pretty circular. So I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw two circles, actually. All right. And I'm going to make this three inches. So we might change the um, dimensions of the donut by the time we make these. I'm gonna make this the small hole one inch. And now you have a finished sketch. So I'm gonna use the cube to look at it isometrically. And I'm gonna use this extrude feature right here. When you click this, um, it'll highlight this object here, extrude it up. We're gonna go 0.25. Yeah, that looks good. All right. And now from here, because donuts aren't um, cylindrical, you're going to want to put a little fillet on there. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. 0.1, let's do 0.25. Uh, point two. All right, so now you have a bagel or a very plain donut. Um, I'm gonna put some icing on this. So we're gonna sketch and we're gonna click this top part of the donut here and go back to the top view. Now, I'm going to sketch a circle. I'm going to make sure I'm on this, this line right here. So you're centered. And it doesn't matter if you're exactly in the center. I'm going to try to pick the center. And I'm going to draw a circle. Now I'm going to draw it a little higher. Now. Yay big. All right. Now, what we're going to do. Oh, and to, to drag stuff around the screen, I'm using a mouse right now. Um, I don't really know how you would do it with a trackpad, but I am clicking the little scroll thing on the mouse to drag things around. Um, OK, so we have a circle. And now we're going to do circular pattern well, we're going to circular pattern this circle and it automatically clicks or it automatically selects this axis here um, if it doesn't just click the set the origin here and we're going to do so oh so yeah click up here and let's do 15 let's see how much maybe a little more than that to 20. Okay, I like 20. So now we're going to try to create a fillet here, but you can't create a fillet without trimming all these things first. So, oh wait, back in the sketch. 
So to get back into the sketch after you click the check, if you need to just double click on what says sketch two. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to use the trim tool to get rid of all of these little parts of the circle here. And you can kind of see it coming together. It's just a lot of clicking. I wish there was a faster way of doing this, but I don't think there is. So this is what you're gonna have to do. Sometimes it takes a second and it might glitch a little bit, but just be patient with it because one shape could be pretty slow at times. All right, now we're gonna do a lot more clicking. We're gonna do a fill it here. So we're gonna click this and click that. And you could see that it, kind of blends everything together a little better. And yeah, so I think 0.25 looks good. If you mess up, just click escape. Oh, you have to, when you have the preview like this, you can see on the mouse, there's a little green check. So that just means click to confirm it. And you could do that. And I'm fine with 0.25. Enter. Let's spin. Enter. Now it's a lot more clicking than we did before. Sorry if this is boring, but this is how it is. Oh. So we're just going to keep clicking until you make it all the way around. Maybe we can um, edit the video to where you could speed it up a little bit. That would be nice, but I don't edit the videos. So I'll ask the person to do that. All right, now it looks like we got everything. So hit the, hit the green check mark and then get it isometrically, extrude, 
right click on the icing and then the point one two five let's see that's too much icing point zero six two five that's a good amount all right so we have that and now we're going to do a fill it to make the icing look more like icing and Do that here, do that here. Uh, maybe a little smaller. Point zero five. Okay. I think this is good. And that makes sense because that was how much we extruded it by. So click the green check mark. All right, now we have a donut with frosting. Um, if you want to stop here, you can. It's perfectly okay. Um, I'm going to add sprinkles. And this is a lot more clicking like what I was doing before. So just bear with me again. So the sprinkle is just essentially a rectangle and it has some curve that is that's very big. All right, that looks like a decent sprinkle. So now we have one. So we are going to make a lot of them. So let's circular. No, no, we're not going to do a circular pattern. We're just going to highlight it. Sometimes you have to hit um, escape because I was still on the fillet and realize, highlight it. And then now I'm going to do control C and then control V. And you can see it moves wherever your mouse moves. And I like to have them all rotated because that's how sprinkles really would be. You do control V again, rotate it. Control D, rotate, so it's a lot of control V and then you just drag this little thing to rotate it. And if you accidentally paste it in the wrong place, you could drag the square and move it like that, or if you want to move it like sh strictly vertically, do it like that, or horizontally, like that. Rotate. Rotate like this. You could put as many or as little sprinkles as you want. Um, if you want to do more than this, I'm just going to do however many here for the sake of time.
Okay. So now I have sprinkles all around. Now I'm going to double check and go back to my isometric view and extrude again. So the same thing we've been doing. And then just click each individual thing. Don't worry about how big they are right now. We'll change that in a minute. If you accidentally click something you didn't want to, you can go back in here and click the bottom one, which would be the most recent thing you clicked. Let's go in here. Make sure only the sprinkle is highlighted. Now we're going to change this now because it's going to get in my way. Zero, six, two, five. That's too big. 32nd of an inch. That looks pretty good. Don't click the check yet. Um, let's go all around, click your sprinkles. If you have more sprinkles, it's going to take longer. If you have less, it'll be a little quicker. But here we go. All right, and now we have a completed donut. And when this actually prints, you wouldn't actually see these lines here. Everything will just blend in and it'll look pretty good. So when you're done with your donut, you're going to export it to an STL file in order to send it to, to us to print it. So we're gonna hover over Part Studio One, in a right click, and you're going to go to export. Now you're going to name it, um, probably something around 3D PC underscore your last name underscore the color you want it to be, and make sure you're format is STL, binary, millimeter, fine, download. And then you're gonna press okay. And that's gonna download it. And then you're gonna upload it to the, the Google form or wherever you would normally upload things.